Now, I talked to the city councilman who represents Wilmington where that explosion occurred, and he offered me insight of a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes and also some contact with the families. And as you just mentioned, he told Fox 11 that one of the two remaining firefighters who were still in the hospital, one of them was released earlier today. And by his account, that means only one remains in the hospital. We're here at County USC, so only one remains here in the hospital, but let's hear how he told the story. Uh, just this evening, one of the two officers that was in critical condition is being released. And so that's very, very good news. That's the latest information on the condition of one of two Los Angeles firefighters who remained hospitalized after a massive explosion Thursday morning, according to the councilman in which the incident took place. It was shortly after 7 a.m. when a dozen firefighters responded to a truck with pressurized cylinders on fire. The LAFD says the blast occurred six minutes after they arrived. Nine of the crew were rushed to Harbor UCLA Medical Center. It was from that hospital where the eighth victim was released Friday, according to Councilman Tim McCosker. The ninth victim is at County USC, listed as stable but critical, according to the LA City Fire Department. Now, when the emergency call came in, two of the responding fire stations were in Wilmington. The councilman told Fox 11 the community he represents wants to help the injured firefighters. He himself has been in the presence of the hero families at the hospital, keeping a respectful distance. They're firefighter families, so they're devastated and, and they were understandably seemed very, very, you know, concerned and worried and sad. Um, but they're they're brave just like the, their their fathers and sisters and brothers in the department. The explosion has rocked the community on a deep level. The councilman himself comes from a family dedicated to the fire service. A dad, two brothers, and two of his children were in uniform. My first thought was to was to realize how dangerous this job is and to know what the families of those firefighters must feel. Of course, those people who were injured, they are being treated for burns and for trauma. And I think the councilman said it very well on behalf of all of us because, of course, the fire department is there to keep us all safe. And we owe them a debt of gratitude for the danger they place themselves in daily. I'm Laura Diaz reporting live from County USC. Alex and Chris, back to you.